Uh, moving on, uh, South Africa's Meerkat telescope has uncovered an extraordinary new giant radio galaxy nicknamed Inkatazo, meaning trouble in uh, the uh, South African uh, Isikosa and Isizulu languages. Now, this discovery sheds light on the evolution of the largest structures in the universe, and it also offers new yet confusing insights into their mysterious origins. Now, giant radio galaxies, or GRGs for short, are rare cosmic bear moths uh, spewing jets of hot plasma millions of light years across the intergalactic space. And these plasma Plasma jets, uh, which glow at radio frequencies, are powered by supermassive black holes at the centers of those galaxies. And until recently, GRGs were thought to be quite rare. However, a new generation of radio telescopes, such as the South African Meerkat radio telescope, have now turned this idea on its head. And for more on this, uh, let's cross to SABC News reporter Ulrich Hendricks. What an exciting discovery. Good morning, Ulrich. Hi, good morning, Sakina. Of course, a lot of exciting discoveries uh, thanks to the, the Meerkat and the sensitivity uh, of that Meerkat. Firstly, scientists said that giant radio galaxies were very rare things. Uh, past uh, the, the Meerkat has been on for about uh, seven years now. Uh, they've discovered a number of those. Inkatazo, of course, he's very special. He's a troublemaker. He does not react or does not... Uh, uh, you know, react in, in, in the same way that uh, the others that they have uh, um, observed react. And so that's why he's getting that name of, of troublemaker. So a, a very large, uh, you know, um, a galaxy and uh, these giant radio galaxies, of course, a collection of black holes. Uh, and um, normally they are quite straight. Um, and this one uh, in Katazo, of course, uh, is uh, just like uh, bending uh, towards the towards the from the middle towards the end, and and this is perplexing scientists. And I'm sure that for the next couple of years they will be, uh, you know, uh, looking closely at how this is happening, why this is happening. Uh, but a very exciting uh, discovery uh, for scientists, of course, uh, you know. Um, they're saying this is very exciting, um, you know, this is something that they've never seen. And this is really thanks to, to the Meerkat, of course, the sensitivity of those 67 uh, telescopes uh, in the in the Kadavan, in the Karoo, of course, uh, when they switched it on about seven or, or eight years ago, the very first picture that we saw, uh, you know, they were just testing it after putting up the 67 uh, telescopes. And... Immediately after switching it on, they got the clearest picture of the center of the universe to, to date. Uh, and since that time, there's been a lot of, of, of discoveries because, uh, you know, like your old, the very first generation of, of cell phones, you took a picture, picture was a bit fuzzy. Now you've got uh, your iPhone 15 or your Samsung Galaxy 24 uh, and the picture quality is just a thousand times better and that's how they are able to make those discoveries uh, Sakina a lot and lots of, of discoveries 400 um, uh, studies have been conducted so far in the past eight years papers that are, have been written and you know basically weekly we're getting um, uh, new discoveries of of this and that uh, you know of, 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 of new discoveries the science that are making as a result of the Meerkat Sakina well, yeah, Kaling Katazo and Katazo living up to its name by all indications there, Ulrich. And I am absolutely here for it, loving it. And of course, Ulrich Hendrik, uh, he's there he keep, he, keeping an eye on those developments for us.